Hello students, I am Justin. Welcome to Pramati Digital Classes. Hope you are safe and healthy at home. In today's session, I am going to deal with one of the important topic in English grammar that is So now let's get started. We often report a conversation between two people to a third person. In such case, we have seen that we do not repeat the exact words spoken by the two people. Instead, we report what they said in our own words. What is actually spoken by a person is direct speech. When it is reported later by someone else, it becomes indirect speech. Yeah, conversation between Arun and Nisha is reported by Nisha to her friends. So, yeah, Arun and Nisha and the conversation which takes place is reported to her friends by Nisha. Arun said, I practice English every day. So this is a direct speech. How can we change into indirect speech? Arun said that he practiced English every day. So we are changing into indirect speech. So in the first sentence, we can find the exact words of Arun. This is called direct speech. In the second sentence, a report is given without quoting Arun's exact words. So here, I practice English every day is Arun's exact words. But you don't find exact words in reported speech, but it is found in indirect speech. So this is called reported or indirect speech. So, we also observe that you do not find inverted commas in indirect speech or reported speech. So, there are a few rules need to be observed while changing from direct to indirect speech. Rules for changing direct speech into indirect speech that is reported speech. First one. In the indirect speech, inverted commas are removed. Second one, change in the tense of the reported speech. Change in the pronoun of the reported speech. And next one, use of connector, that is, that between the reporting verb and the reported speech. Next, change in certain words denoting distance, time and auxiliaries. So, all these rules are going to be applied in further slides. How can we apply all these rules will be studied thoroughly in the next few slides. In the indirect speech, we shall take one by one. First rule, in the indirect speech, inverted commas are removed. For example, Simran said, Mohan is preparing for the exam. So, this is a direct speech. When it comes to indirect speech, Simran said that Mohan was preparing for the exam. So, we can notice in direct speech, we use inverted commas. So, we use inverted commas to mark off the exact words of the speaker. Who is the speaker here? Simran. So, to mark Simran's exact words, we use invert, inverted commas. But inverted commas are always removed. When? While changing a sentence from direct to indirect or reported speech. So, you do not find inverted commas in the second sentence that is 
reported speech. Second one, change in the tense of the reported speech. So, the second important rule that we need to follow when we change into a reported speech is change in the tense of the reported speech. If the reporting verb is in the past tense, then the tense of the direct speech will change. So, when the reporting or principal verb, we also call it principal verb, the main verb is in the past tense, all present tenses of the direct speech are changed into the corresponding past tenses. I repeat, when the reporting or principal verb is in the past tense, then the then the tense of the direct speech will change. So, all present tenses of the direct speech are changed into the corresponding past tense. So, for example, I put an arrow mark here, Simran said, again this is a reporting verb, Mohan is preparing for the exam. So, this direct speech is in present continuous tense, he is preparing. So, when it comes to indirect speech, Simran said that conjunction is added here, Mohan was in place of he is, was is place, Mohan was preparing for the exam. So, the there are uh, all present tenses, so you can find Mohan is preparing present continuous tense, all present tenses of the direct speech are changed into the corresponding past tenses. Hope you understood this. So, move on to the next point. If the reporting verb is in the present or the future tense, the tense of the direct speech is not changed. So here also you need to pay attention. It is just vice versa. Here the reporting verb is in past tense, but here report if, report if the reporting verb is in the present or future tense, what is the procedure? What is the rule in changing tenses? So, we'll take up one example here. Satish said, I am flying a kite. When it uh, when it is changed into a reported speech, Satish says that he is flying a kite. So, here reporting verb is in present tense says. So, all the direct speech, the direct speech, what is the tense form of direct speech here? Present continuous, I am flying. So, here the tense form is not changed, only the pronoun is changed. That is, Satish says that he, I is changed into he, he is flying a kite. So, here also we have written the same tense that is present continuous because rep the reporting verb is in the present tense. So, the following direct speech also will be in the same tense. Hope you understood this. If direct speech expresses a historical fact, a universal truth or a habitual fact, then the tense of the direct speech will not change. For example, the teacher said, the first world war started in 1914. When it comes to indirect speech, the teacher said that the first world war started in 1914. Since this is a historical fact, the tense form of the direct speech will not change. So, you can observe here, the tense form is not changed because this is a historical fact. Second one, B, he said, the sun rises in the east. How can we change into an indirect speech? He said that the sun rises in the east. So, this is a universal truth. 
this this is the truth that universally accepted so you don't find any change in the tense form it is retained because this is a universal truth that is the sun rises in the east so you cannot say the sun rose in the east so it goes wrong so we retain the same just to uplift or uphold a universal truth next c ramesh said i am an early riser so yeah ramesh said that he is an early riser so this is a habitual fact here yeah, ramesh is doing this on daily basis this is his routine work every day he does it so we cannot change we are not supposed to change it into into a past tense because ramesh yeah, um, ramesh he has been doing on daily basis that is he uh, ramesh said i am an early riser ramesh said that he is an early riser so there are two situations where even if the reporting verb is in the past tense the verb of the tense the verb of the uh, the verb of the reported speech remains unchanged so yeah it remains unchanged so if the reported speech expresses universal truth or habitual fact this is a habitual fact the tense of the verb in the reported speech is not changed into the corresponding past tense so here the reporting verb is in past tense but the direct speech is not changed into a reported speech because of these three formula or rules that we need to follow in english grammar there is a historical fact a universal truth or a habitual fact when we use these three points in direct speech we are not supposed to change into a reported speech though the reporting verb is in past tense so we move on to the next slide the next rule what is the next rule change in the pronoun of the reported speech so rules for the change of pronouns what are the rules that you need to observe when we change pronouns while changing direct into indirect speech first one the first person pronouns i me my we us are in the reported speech change according to the subject of the reporting verb for example he said i like the book when you change into a reported speech he said that he like the book so here he said i like the book so the same since the same person is addressed he said that he like the book so i have highlighted the pronouns here you can also observe how pronouns uh change when it comes to uh indirect speech next the pronouns of the second person you your yourself in the reported speech change according to the object of the reporting verb for example he said to me do you like the book he asked me if i like the book so here yeah, second person you in the reported speech change according to the object of the reporting verb so here yeah, do you you is change into i he asked me if i like the book so these are the changes that we need to observe very keenly attentively when we change direct into indirect speech so we'll move on to the next slide
चेयर द प्रोनाउंस ऑफ द थर्ड पर्सन डू नॉट चेंज फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही सैड ही लाइक्स द बुक what is the reported speech of this example first one he said that he liked the book so here the third person the pronoun the third person is not changed it is retained he said he likes the book he said that he liked the book next shall take up the next uh, rule that we need to observe in reported speech use of connector that between the reporting verb and the reported speech so inverted commas are dropped and conjunction that is used the conjunction that is generally used after the reporting verb for example i said my mother is my best friend i said that my mother is my best friend so here yeah, inverted commas are removed and the connector that is used to connect reporting verb and the reporting speech that is i said that my mother is my best friend so let's move on to the next slide next fifth rule that we need to follow while changing direct into indirect speech change in certain words denoting distance and time so what are the changes that occur when we uh, change words denoting distance and time they changes into those now changes into then today changes into that day tomorrow changes into the next day yesterday changes into the previous day last night changes into the previous night ago changes into before just changes into then so these are the changes that we need to keep in our mind when we change uh, direct into in direct speech the next rule would be changes in auxiliaries place and demonstratives so what are the changes that occur when it comes to auxiliaries can changes into could may changes into might shall changes into should will changes into Word. So these are the auxiliaries that we need to keep in our mind, and also we need to incorporate changes when we change in direct to indirect speech. So when it comes to place, what are the change that occur here? Changes into there. So next one, demonstrators. This changes into that. These changes into those. so these are the changes these are the few uh informations that you need to keep in your mind when we study or change direct into indirect speech so now to the next slide so yeah now if you have a sentence in direct speech and you want to change into a reported speech what are the points you need to bear in mind first thing is to mind the type of sentence you should be able to define type of the sentence you want to change so how many type of sentences we have in our english grammar type 1 statements type 2 questions or interrogatives type 3 commands or and requests type 4 exclamations and wishes these are the four type of sentences that we need to bear in mind and then only we can change 
direct into indirect speech properly. So we'll move on to the the detail part of. We shall take one by one. First, we shall study type one, that is statements. So changing statements into indirect speech. What are the changes that you need to incorporate, incorporate when you change statements? The reporting verb is changed as under. So what are the changes that occur in changing statements into indirect speech? So we say something, we say something but we tell somebody says retain same uh, says said to can also you can change into told or told to asserted stated replied remarked informed so these are the reporting verb you are supposed to use when you st when you change direct into indirect speech and the uh, question if the question need to be changed into a statement you need to use these reporting verb next the inverted commas are removed we already studied it the conjunction that is used to connect the reporting verb with the reported speech for example he said to rena i have passed the test when it, change, when it comes to reported speech he told rena that he had passed the test. So, I have violated the changes which are uh, incorporated in these two sentences. He said the reporting verb to Rina, I, I have. So, here it is present perfect tense is changed into past perfect tense. I have is changed into he had. So, we studied in the previous slides that present perfect is changed into past perfect. And also, you can observe a violated in yellow color I, the pronoun I is changed into he. So, he told Rina that he had passed the test. And we also connected reporting verb and reporting uh, speech with the connector we also call it conjunction that is that he told Rina that he had passed the test. So next example Anil said to me I was washing the clothes. So can you identify the tense form of the direct speech here? I was washing past continuous tense. He Anil told me that I is changing to he he had been past continuous change into past perfect continuous tense he had been washing the clothes so you need to study you need to be thorough with the table that is the corresponding uh, changes that occur in the tense form you should be thorough with that then only you can uh, learn or understand reporting or reported speech Next example, my friend said to me, I will go to Delhi tomorrow. My friend told me that he would go to Delhi the next day. So here, tomorrow is changing to the next day. So the time, the time of the day change to the corresponding, that is the next day. Here also said to me, I will, the auxiliary, we also call it model auxiliaries, I will is changed into he would go to Delhi the next day. So, this is the, uh, these are the examples on statement. Next type, type 2, questions or interrogatives. Changing questions or interrogatives into in that speech. The reporting verb say is changed into ask, inquire, etc. The interrogative sentence is changed into a statement by placing the subject before the verb. So here the question form is changed into a statement. The inverted commas are removed, question mark is removed, 
and the full stop is put at the end of the sentence so it's one of the important rule that we need to keep in mind under type 2 inverted commas are removed you know already question mark is removed this is the highlight or important point that you need to bear under this type 2 question mark is removed then full stop is put at the end of the sentence next if the interrogative sentence has a wh word who when where how why etc the wh word is repeated in the sentence it serves as a conjunction so here wh word is retained we don't remove it because we are going to change into a statement using wh word so come on let's learn how to interrogatives into a uh, statement if the interrogative sentence is a yes or no answer type question answer type sentence with auxiliary verbs am are was were do did have shall extra then if or whether is used as a conjunction In the previous type we used that as a conjunction to connect reporting verb and the reporting speech here we are we use if or whether to connect two sentences in reported speech the auxiliary is do does did in a positive question in the reported speech are dropped so when we change direct into indirect speech uh, we drop these positive question uh, these uh, auxiliary verbs do does did next the conjunction that is not used after the reporting verb I asked to him where are you going I asked him where he was going my friend said to Deepak have you ever been to Agra my friend asked Deepak if he had ever been to Agra I said to her do you know him I asked her if or whether she knew him Ramesh said to me are you reading this book Ramesh asked me whether I was reading that book. So here WH word is retained here. Where is retained and the question the interrogative is changed into a statement by removing a question removing the question mark and replacing it with the full stop. I asked him where he was going. The friend said to Deepak have you ever been to Agra? Here this is yes or no answer type question yes or no so we have used if my friend asked Deepak if he had ever been to Agra instead of that we have used if I said to her do you know him I asked her if or whether she knew him so do is dropped here I asked her if we can use either of it I asked her if she knew him or whether she knew him Ramesh said to me are you reading this book Ramesh asked me whether I was reading that book so here we observe that yes or no question or yes or no answer type questions are usually changed into a statement using if or whether conjunction shall move on to the next example the policeman said to us where are you going the policeman inquired where we were going so here reporting verb is changed according to the sentence here is question is inquiring the policeman is inquiring asking where are you going so here we have rightly used inquiring that is policeman inquired where we were going so according to the sentence form we need to use a reporting verb Type 3 commands and request. So changing commands and requests into indirect speech. In imperative sentences having commands, the reporting verb is changed into command, order, allow, request, or proposed. 
the imperative mode is changed into the infinitive mode by putting to before the verb in case of negative sentences the auxiliary do is dropped and to is placed after not so this is uh, these are the basic features of commands and request when we get this kind of sentences to change into indirect speech we need to keep in mind all these words for example the captain said to the soldiers attack the enemy the captain commanded the soldiers to attack the enemy here he is commanding so see the mode of the sentence that is attack the enemy so your captain is commanding so we have rightly used reporting verb commanded the soldiers to attack the enemy ravi said to arjun go away so what is he doing he is ordering so we have used ravi ordered arjun to go away i said to him please bring me a glass of water i requested him to bring me a glass of water so in the imperative sentence we also use to i requested him to to bring me a glass of water so here he is requesting he is not ordering so we have rightly used requested please bring me a glass of water is um, stated by using i requested him to bring me a glass of water we shall move on he said to me don't tease the animal so he advised me not to tease the animal so he is advising not commanding or ordering he is advising raj said to mohan let him do it raj ordered mohan to let him do that so he is ordering he is instructing he is uh, he is giving orders uh, ask him to do it on his own so raj ordered mohan to let him do that she said to me let us go for a picnic she suggested to me that we should go for a picnic so she is suggesting she giving a suggestion that uh, we should go for a picnic so usage of um, reporting verb keenly judiciously carefully and you should be very cautious while using reporting verb the reporting verb plays an important role in changing into a reported speech four exclamations and wishes the reporting verb is changed to exclaim with sorrow joy surprise wished prayed etc the exclamatory form is changed into the statement form and the mark of exclamation is replaced by a full stop the reporting verb is joined with reported speech with that we have already studied all interjections are omitted and suitable adverbs or other expressive words are used so the interjections what who is replaced with the expressive word surprise alas ha is replaced with the sadness grief or pity ra joy or happiness bravo approval or cheer so these are the ex other expressive words used in place of inter jacksons so here exclamatory form is changed to the stay how can we change into the statement form shall study taking few examples they said ra we have won the match so here they exclaim with joy that they had won the match she said alas he is no more she exclaim with sorrow that he was no more so it depending on the mood of the uh, tone of the sentence we use ex, uh, reporting verb she exclaim with sorrow she is sad so we use the corresponding the uh, exclaim the reporting uh, verb that is exclaim with sorrow here exclaim with joy because they won the match he said goodbye friends he bade good bye to his friends my mother said may god bless you she prayed to god for my well being so she's uh, she blessed him and also she 
what is the meaning here may god bless you she prayed to god so this is the reporting verb we need to use here to god for my well being mohan said what a pity mohan exclaimed that it was a great pity so here yeah, usually we find all these expressions when we read novels or dramas so seldom we use it in our spoken english or daily english but for the knowledge this very important so let us recall whatever we studied in this session so we may report the words of a speaker in two ways we may quote his actual words this is called direct speech we may report what is said without quoting his exact words this is called indirect speech or reported speech so here yeah, we also learned that in direct speech we use inverted commas to mark off the exact words of the speaker in indirect speech we do not use next change in tenses words expressing nearness time and auxiliaries this rule is also important when we change direct into a reported speech type of sentences that is statements questions commands and requests exclamations and wishes so these are the type of sentences that we need to bear in mind when we change direct into indirect speech so in the indirect speech no inverted commas are used the conjunction that if whether uh, are generally used after the reporting verb and the reporting verb changes according to sense and also we have also studied the changes in pronouns so we have seen that we make changes to the actual words spoken in reported speech it is because often the words spoken in one place are reported in another place at different time and sometimes by different person so there are grammatical differences students that uh, you need to focus on there are grammatical differences between the actual spoken words that is direct speech and the reported speech so students with this i would like to wind up assignment and reference will be sent to you along with this video make a note of all your doubts and the same will be clarified during our online or regular classes thank you for watching goodbye